It's time for Living with Victory, a program of hope and encouragement brought to you by friends of compassion and listeners like you. Now, here are your hosts, Tony and Lorraine Giorgio, with today's message of perseverance. Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather, when the winds of this world are low and strong. Hey, welcome to Living with Victory. Proving life isn't about waiting for the storms to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. It gives you peace, power, and joy through perseverance and, above all, faith in Jesus Christ. And a couple of reminders again this week. You can email us at livingwithvictory at gmail.com or call 828-926-4600. And later on, our announcer, Tim Hodges, will have additional contact information to order free CDs, to donate. Okay, so before the end of the show, get ready for that. And remember, our partners, the Journey Christian Newspaper. It's a free print and online publication offering encouraging articles, local Christian events, as well as world and local news from a Christian perspective. Learn more. Visit journeychristiannews.com. The Journey Christian Newspaper. Encouraging Christians on their walk with Christ. And coming up is the first annual Christian Business Expo. And it'll be held on Saturday, October 20th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And the Western North Carolina Ag Center is hosting it at the Davis Building. You can bring the whole family, bring church groups. And for more information and exhibiting at the event, because they're going out, Christian businesses, ministries, speakers, you name it. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, You can log on to WNCChristianExpo.com or call Jeff over at 828 676-6535. And this is sponsored by the Journey Christian Newspaper. Just uh, another quickie. Our show is going to be dealing with God in the trenches. Let's not forget what we've just passed in remembrance 9-11. God was in those trenches, folks. Just remember that and remember all those people who gave on that day. And now, without further delay here's my wonderful wonderful sidekick for 45 years you poor thing (laughs) who's got the word of the day the topic and hey laurie go for it hi oh i just love being here talking about living with victory those three words thrill my soul but today it is about god in the trenches and we have two scriptures matthew 19 26 which says But Jesus looked at them and said, With men this is impossible, but all things are possible with God. And Proverbs 18.24, The man of many friends, a friend of all the world, will prove himself a bad friend, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Matthew Henry Commentary says that Christ is a friend to all believers that sticks closer than a brother. He is a mighty, wonderful friend that everyone really should have. When we have problems or situations that happen to us, and Tony's going to explain one today that really is is wonderful, and not the, the problem that happened, but how that person chose to handle it, you have two choices, negative feel sorry for yourself, life is over, can never accomplish anything of of worth, just why bother? But when you choose Christ, you can move forward strong, holding his hand and trusting that all things are possible and find other ways to accomplish what you want to. Tony? This young lady, she found ways you wouldn't believe. Her name, you're probably going to recognize, is Carol Shula. And at age 13, she was at her uncle's house because Mr. and Mrs. Shuler, the Reverend Shuler and his wife were in Korea. She's staying with her uncle. She went for a motorcycle ride with her 18-year-old cousin. They were moving at about 70 miles an hour. Clear path, no problem. There is a car in front of them, and he decides to stop short. He applies the brakes too late. And her cousin, trying to get out of the way, 
swerved into the oncoming lane. But there it was, a car headed straight for them. It hit them at such a force that she was thrown 80 feet from the motorcycle into a ditch. She was, what, 13 years old, I think. Yes. And here it mm-hmm. is. They had to give her 17 pints of blood, and they had to amputate her leg. The tough part is mommy and daddy are no way around. The uncle actually had to make the decision to have the leg amputated because she, she was a, a young kid. And she spent almost eight months in a hospital going through some horrific life-changing and life-saving treatments you know picture this she's she's at death's door with all of this this young girl just knew where her strength was and and it was amazing because as she grew i mean she just didn't give up and and the one thing that even amazed her dad and her mom and and he's a one of the most positive people on the face of the earth written more books than you can shake a stick at she wanted to continue doing what teenagers do she wanted to join a softball team good grief <laughs> think of what we're saying here and, and 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 you know her dad said no wait a minute how are you going to do this you can't run you have an artificial limb you have all kinds of limitations she said i'm not worried about that she said i figured it out she said all i have to do is hit home runs think of this i don't have to run around the bases if i hit a home run good Lori. that's the amazing thing when you're believing in christ and you're looking to do things in a positive way that you realize that if I don't have this to do the way I used to do, I could find another way. And she did. And and, and as as Robert Shuler has quoted in the, in his book, Tough Times Never Last, Tough People Do, she hit enough home runs for that season never to have to worry about anything. She perfected hitting that ball over the fence every time she'd get up. And wow, I mean... <laughs> What a score. It's it's just amazing. But that's what choice means. You have the choice to either give up or keep going. She was tough. Her father said, you know, my daughter is tough. She's a survivor. And, and she was. I mean, she hit enough home runs, think of it, to justify her presence on the team. She'd learned that lesson. Tough times never last. Tough people do. Same thing. Storms keep coming. Don't wait for them to pass. You keep dancing in the rain. You persevere. God is with you in those trenches. There's no doubt in my mind. Here's the point, too. She comes from a well-to-do, famous family. They couldn't help her. That leg had to come off. Everything that happened to her, you know, money couldn't do anything for her. But like she said, her recovery and her persistency came from knowing that her God, Jesus Christ, was with her at all times by her side. He doesn't leave. He's the God in the trenches. They went on a, on a cruise, and Carol went with them. Now she's 17 years old. And, of course, you know, everybody's looking at this girl with the limp and you know, wondering what's going on and what her problem is. And she tells her dad she wants to join in the talent show that night. And he said, but you can't sing. You can't dance. You can't. What are you doing? She said, don't worry about it. She said, I want to get up there. So that's what she did. On Friday night, she got on stage, not with shorts on, not with any a full-length dress, and she stood up there, and she told the people what was going on. She said, you know, I owe you all an explanation. I know you've been looking at me all week, wondering about my fake leg, and I thought I should tell you what happened. And she went ahead and told them all about the motorcycle accident and how she almost died and, and all the blood she needed and her, her pulse had disappeared and how they amputated the leg. She told them all about the, the hospital and all. To make a long story short, she then told them because 
of her God being in the trenches, she had been able to do all these things. Not only the, the softball, she went on to ski. She became a champion skier. She won a gold medal in a championship of people around the United States, and she competed. I mean, this this is something that, you know, we look at and we say, oh, you know, <laughs> I have a hangnail, I can't do it, or we're depressed, we can't do it. Think of what we're talking about here. But she did say she had her faith that was very real to her. And, and this is what propelled her to do everything that she did do. And if it wasn't for that, she really couldn't do it because she knew he was right next to her. Her Lord and Savior was right there. And you have to understand, he is right there. He, he's not a myth. He's real. He's alive. And like she said, it's not how you walk that counts, but who walks with you. And she said she wished she could walk like everybody else without a limp, but that's not the way it goes. This is where where she has to be and what God wanted her to do. And as long as he was with her, she was as happy as can be. And at this point, what does she do? She wants to sing them a song about her friend, her Lord Jesus Christ. And she sang, he walks with me and he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own and the joy we share in our time of prayer. And she concluded with that hymn. And you remember the God in the trenches because he is walking with us every single day of our lives. A 13 year old child and she manages to find ways with her Lord Jesus Christ and her faith to do the things that kids do. I mean, softball, yeah, you name it. With men, this is impossible, but all things, all things are possible with God. And when you have a friend like Christ who sticks closer than a brother, you cannot fail. Jesus never fails. We have to remember that when we get low and we're looking at our problems that he is with us i mean i know she went through a hard time those eight months but look at the victory that god has given her this is trusting in your faith and in jesus christ so remember god is in the trenches with you and it's impossible to fail totally if you dare to try. And that's Robert Shuler's quote out of his book. And now Lori will tell you how to get the CD of this program or other CDs which are free to you. If you would like any of our CDs, today's offer is 12 9 16. And I also have my test of faith with my breast cancer. Any one of the CDs, you can email us at livingwithvictory at gmail.com, and we would be very happy to send them to you free of charge. And next week, listen up, because we're going to tell you the story of a very famous person who started out by knocking on doors, selling vacuum cleaners, and what happened to him and how he persevered and worked with God in the trenches. Till next week, this is Tony and Laureen Giorgio. You keep dancing in that rain because Jesus is your umbrella and God is in the trenches with you. Have a great day. You've been listening to Living with Victory with your hosts, Tony and Laureen Giorgio, who for 30 years have advocated for seriously ill children through their foundation, Compassion for Kids. Many families who have children that receive daily treatments for their illnesses are extremely challenged to even begin to get their kids the life-saving treatments they need. Compassion for Kids is there to lend a hand. That is our mission, and you can become a partner in helping. Support for this radio ministry comes from friends of compassion and listeners like you. Your tax-deductible donations can be sent to Compassion for Kids, P.O. Box 1982, Maggie Valley, North Carolina, 28751. You can also donate through your PayPal account by logging on to livingwithvictory.org. Tony is available to speak to your group or church members. You can call him at 828-926-4600. Join us again next week at this time for another uplifting story of Dancing in the Rain. Thanks for listening.